Time to launch out the spin fisher. Everyone loves the spin fishers. That guy right down there is just taking pictures of them. Let me drop that down. Yeah! <laughs> Bombs away. That eyelet broke up top. Shit. I got tape here though, I can fix it real quick. The hot one? Yeah. What's going on y'all? Nick here with Hillbilly Deluxe Fishing. Today we're out at Anna Maria Island here in uh, Gulf Coast, Florida. We got a couple uh, rods set up here we'll show you. We got the uh, Penn Spin Fisher, two of them on each end. We're gonna cast out for uh, some sharks, trying to stay out of the water, it's a little chilly. And uh, in the middle here, I got my brand new uh, Penn Slammer. We'll show you in a little bit. I'm gonna run a couple Pompano rigs to try to catch some bait. So we gotta do that first. Uh, a little solo mission today, so hopefully uh, we don't hook into anything too, too big. I mean, I hope I do, but it'll be, uh, a little difficult so we'll show you the home base over here and i'm going to walk you all through how to make a pompano rig and be successful with it so this is everything right here you're going to need to run a pompano rig so a pompano rig can be two or three hooks typically you got these beads on them it's little circle hooks a little snap swivel and a barrel swivel you're going to tie the barrel swivel to the end of your line on your rod. And then here on your snap swivel, you'll hook up a sinker. Now, a lot of people use pyramid sinkers. I didn't bring one today, so I got this four ounce Sputnik sinker. Depending on you know the current you got going on out in the ocean or how wavy it is, and if your line's getting pulled around, just up your uh, weight, or you can switch to these Sputnik sinkers because they sink in, they grab into the sand. And then when you hook in or you start reeling in your, uh, your bait, these will pop out like this, and they'll drag across the water, making it a lot easier to reel. So I like using these for pretty much everything. I use bigger ones when we cast out the big uh, shark rigs. Next, uh, on here, you're gonna run some fish bites. You don't have to do this part. You can just put shrimp right on these, but I like using these little fish bites. These are, uh, sand fleas because we've got some out here and uh that's all it is there don't litter so with these i just start here at the thicker end i, I buy the cut pre-cut ones just easier to work with you don't have to ruin scissors and bait cutters so you're just going to push through here once spin it wrap it around go through a second time and then you just slide this all the way up to the top this is a brand new pompano rig right there and then the way that i put this on is so the orange is showing towards the bottom where the fish are going to be coming up and seeing this so that gives it that sand flea imitation these are also scented so we'll see they usually you can catch fish on these by itself all you got to do after that is hook up the uh shrimp you just pinch the head off it. You can peel it if you want. Um, we don't really see a difference in efficiency when it comes to catching when taking it off. So we just throw it on to be quick. So we'll start this off and then we'll uh, set one of these up and show y'all a completed one, what it looks like once we get it over there on that rod. All right, let me show you how to tie this up. I'm running a 20 pound Power Pro. This is the v, uh, Super Slick V2. So this braid is awesome. You can cast a mile with this. And uh, just remember when you're tying braided knots, make sure you double it up. Otherwise your knot will slip. 
So bend it back on itself, give yourself a good little slack. Go through your barrel swivel. Bring it up. And then from here, you just tie a normal knot. So a little windy, so it makes it difficult, but I'll just wrap it around slow to show you. So go one, two, three. And we're gonna go through one. And this is kind of like a modified or improved clinch knot. So you go back through that second hole that you created, pull that tight, and grab all your loose ends, cinch it down. Just go slow with it. Right there. So that's uh, the knot you're looking for. We'll cut off this tag end here and this tag loop and we're ready to toss it, put some shrimp on it. This guy's coming to steal whatever I pull in. He's a pro. All right, y'all. This is that new pen slammer. Got the 4500 series. Pretty uh, sweet. It's got 30 pounds of drag. And I got it paired up on a 7.6 medium heavy Fenwick HMG inshore. This thing is sweet. So we're gonna toss out this pompano rig, got four ounces of weight on there, plus the rig and bait. It's not too heavy, this thing can handle it. Loose up the drag. I'm gonna give this thing a pitch out there, see what we can get. Just put it in that first trough. Hopefully those birds don't get into it. Oh yeah. Little shark. All right, not the fish we were looking for, but we'll take them. On the Pompano rig, little shovel head. Let's get that hook out. All right, little shovel head, bonnet head, we'll put them back in the water. Sweet. Nice catch. He's out. Good stuff. Not a monster shark. We're actually trying to catch bait, and uh, that was our first catch of the day, so. That's not gonna be bait and we put them back. So we're gonna keep trying. Ooh, she's pulling some drag. Look at that. Oh yeah. I think it's another bonnet head. I'm gonna try to bring him over here. Chris, can you grab the uh Pliers. Get the pliers. All right, another bonnet head shark. Get this hook out of his mouth. Come on. Come on. 
All right, second bonnet head. We're gonna get them back in the water. Swim away. All right. Get out of this line. All right, second bonnet head of the day. Not really trying to do bonnet head fishing, but always a little pleasant surprise. Uh, so it's two sharks today. We're trying to catch some croakers, some catfish. Um, Jack will hook up occasionally and uh, use those for bait to catch some black tips out here on these bigger rods. But man, we've been coming out here the past couple times and just hooking into a ton of these bonnet heads, you call them shovels, shovel heads. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep fishing, hopefully catch a croaker or something, but if we keep catching these bonnet heads, we'll do it all day long. So it'll be deluxe, baby. How, this is how you spot a tourist in Florida. It is about 60 degrees, windy, it was raining a little bit. Just loving life. Woo, my feet are cold. All right, so uh, the slammer on the HMG just got absolutely slammed. About to see if there's anything on it. Oh yeah, yeah, we got one. Yeah, it looks like another bonnet head. He's just swimming around with it. Get him in and out real quick. And this 30 pounds of drag will pull these little fish up, no problem. All right. It's a little guy. Do a quick release with him. Ah. All right, buddy. Easy there. Easy there. All right. Bonnet head shark. Say hi. Say bye. Run him out here. There he goes. Make sure he doesn't come back up. Looks like it's a good release. I saw him swim off. Cool. What do you think, dude? All right, y'all. So we are gonna call it a day. We are all out of bait. So uh, we caught three bonnet heads. Uh, not the fish we were after, but always pretty cool to catch. And uh, on pompano rigs too. So they're just taking shrimp right off those and pretty easy clean releases got them back in the water right away we were trying to catch some uh croakers cats and whatnot and uh you know go after some black tips but we're gonna call it reel these guys in if we got something else to show you we will but uh until next time make sure you like subscribe share hillbilly deluxe fishing baby We got a monster on right now. God, let me please land a big shark today.